Hello, my name is Dr. Chris Bell, and I'm the APFA Medical Advisor. First of all, I want to let you know we care very much about you and the tremendous work that you do each and every day. You truly are at the front lines in engaging this COVID-19. Putting risk into perspective, air crew, you are absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, there's risk in everything that we do and potential exposure. Compare this to epidemics, and epidemics have happened ever since time has begun. Um, MERS has, ha has a 33% death rate, SARS a 14% death rate, avian influenza 60%, Ebola close to 100%. The common flu is down to a 0.2% death rate, so it still happens 400,000 people a year on average die. There is a vaccine for that. We don't know exactly where the death rate is for COVID-19. It'll be somewhere between 1% and 4%. We think probably at the end of the day, experts tell us because so much is happening, very mild cases that aren't discovered, that it'll probably be close to that 1% or maybe 10 times worse than the common flu. So that's 60% uh, of the population can get this, and more than 50,000 people in the United States may succumb to this. Now, we know that the vulnerable population are the elderly, those people over 60%. Those have died in the United States. Almost 90% have been over 60 and with multiple medical problems, diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, or immunocompromised. There was some good news. A 103-year-old Japanese lady uh, who got COVID-19 recovered. So there are exceptions to the rule, both young and old, both ways, either recovering or uh, unfortunately, um, not doing well with COVID-19. We have had air crew that have come down with COVID-19. We've had uh, pilots come down with COVID-19. Um, we don't know for sure whether it was on the aircraft or off the aircraft. Of course, anybody who has increased interaction uh, with the general population is going to have increased possibility of uh, picking that up. That's why our flight attendants are um, really uh, the ones that are on the front lines in particular our flight attendants that are over 60 with multiple medical problems. Um, on the aircraft, we do have very uh, much of a high flow rate turnover, over 40 times per minute. We have the HEPA filters, which are good. We do know that the virus gets in the air, it could stay in the air, it's heavy particles, they tend to drop uh, with time and gravity. Uh, it could stay for alive for hours in the air and for days when it lands on surfaces. So it's best just to assume that uh, there's an infectious quality. There is a day-to-day -day basis, staff strip. There's normal viruses and bacteria that we have out there. This is a new one, um, but just assume that it's everywhere. That's probably a good attitude to have. And anxiety and fear is absolutely normal. It's a normal reaction to an abnormal situation and we're in an abnormal situation. Rely on your family, friends, coworkers, medical. Employee assistance program is awesome. Uh, rely on them if you need them. Now we have good news. And there's much that's being done right. Even though it's taken a while to get up to speed and it's taken a while to get tests out there, we're getting them out there. Hygiene and social distancing, quarantine, laboratory testing, communicating, educating make a huge difference. There are so many things that the PFA is doing for you that I can't even mention them all, but two that come to the top of my mind are um, removing the hot towel service on all aircraft and AP bleed air being utilized on the ground. There's many more areas. Ron Thomas is heading up the American Airlines as a safety vice president, he's doing a wonderful job really addressing a lot of our concerns. The vast majority of all who ultimately come down with COVID-19 are gonna do just fine. Some will have a recovery period, some will get sick, some will get very sick, but 99% are gonna do just fine. And 80% of the cases will be mild. People won't even know that they have it. We know what the virus is. We know how to RNA type it. We have tests that identify it. The situation in China is getting better. Every epidemic in the history of mankind has had a beginning, middle, and end, and work our way through it. If we do this right, this will be on the range of a three-month time period. I don't know for sure. We won't know till we get there, but we'll work our way through. We know that the um, majority of cases in children, the symptoms are very, very mild. Kids don't even know they have it. And uh, we know that we could get rid of the virus from services with um, regular cleaning material what's available for our aircraft work just fine. I know by American Alliance is picking up cleaning on our aircraft, particularly the high-risk aircraft, and I think really doing a wonderful job here. There are vaccine prototypes that are in the work. Um, the first trials have started yesterday. 
they take a better part of a year before it gets to a point where you accept them and then make millions of the copies to get out there. So let's see how fast this goes. We'll be cautiously optimistic. There's antiviral tests that are underway. Some are very promising. We have a lot of antivirals from past flus, from HIV. Um, there's some pancreatic uh, treatments that look promising right now. We truly have the best medical system in the world. We're working together. We need your help to go ahead and bump down that, uh, that curve that we're talking about, the epi curve, so we, medical can keep up and not be overwhelmed. Uh, hand washing and hygiene is key and critical. If you cough, cough into your elbow. Try not to touch your face. We jokingly say avoid men, avoid mouth, eyes, and nose. Stay more than three feet or a meter apart from other people, social distancing. And if you're sick, stay home. Stay home. Stay away from other people. Hang in there. Let us know if we could do anything for you. Bye now.